الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده واستعينه واستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شر انفسنا من سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي من فلا مضل له ومن يضلل من فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث رجالا كثيرا والنساء واتقوا الله تسألون به ورحمة إن الله كان عليكم مكيدا يا أيها الذين آمنوا واتقوا الله وقولوا كوما سديدا يصيحكم أمركم ويكفركم بالنبغم والله بكفر إن الحمد لله رب العالمين هو الذي جعل المسلمين. This is Joseph Estes. We're live. We're here in Albuquerque, the Islamic Center of New Mexico here, and we are living in some very special times. This is the Juma Salah, the Friday sermon. We have with us some of the most beautiful people on the planet, right here. Because these are the people that Allah loves. Allah loves the people. He brings them to him in many ways, sometimes strange ways. But if Allah loves somebody, this is the best that there is. The translation plus or minus of what I said at the beginning was, of course, from the Arabiya, that we are most thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we thank him and we seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our sins. Whoever Allah guides, nobody is going to take them out of that guidance. But whoever He doesn't guide them, nobody can guide them. Therefore, I bear witness in open testimony that there is none anywhere worthy of my worship except the only one worthy of worship. Is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La sharika la. He has no partners. And I bear witness and open testimony that Muhammad ibn Abdullah, the son of Abdullah, is the last, the final of all of the messengers to the human beings. And the translation plus or minus from the Quran, Allah is using the term Allah, which is to have proper fear of the punishment of Allah on the day of judgment and to protect ourselves with a shield, a taqwa, a shield against Allah's qadr, His anger on that day. And we ask Allah to give us that. And we seek that and we are working toward having that shield, that taqwa. And I said Allah brings people to Him in strange ways. He is the ultimate and the only real guide. There is none to guide except the law. And when we talk about this, sometimes we get the idea that, you know what? It's just us about being guided spiritually. But it's not just about spiritual guidance. This is also about another kind of guidance, the kind of guidance that comes to the mind, to the aqal so that you can make decisions that work for you in this life. But then it's another kind of guidance that comes right alongside of it, which is the physical guidance on the road, on the highway. Literally, how we got here today. I'm excited, brothers and sisters in Islam, because today I was witness to one of those experiences of guidance. And I'd like to take this opportunity to, to break it down for you to share with you something that just occurred in my life, and I hope, inshallah, it's a, it's a way for us all to get some, some benefit from this. First of all, it started yesterday. When I got to the airport, they said, oh, you missed the plane only by minutes. I said, oh, come on, please, guys. I said, sorry, we have this new rule, and there's no way you can get there after you go to security, la, 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 la. So you missed the plane. Even I can look at the plane, but too bad you can't go on the plane. Okay, give me the next one. This took some time. And it turns out the next one is going
going to be, are you ready? Sunday. Sunday, I'm coming back on Sunday, and it's going to be like 900 something dollars extra. I said, come on, man, these people, they, they took care of me, they took me first class, you can't, you do better. I said, sorry, everything booked, booked, booked. After one hour of, let's try something else, try something else, I said, you know what, give it up, I'm not going. Forget about it, New Mexico doesn't need me, I guess. Cut it along, bye. The lady working there, she became so engrossed in this herself, she said, no, no, we have to try something else. I go, huh? Yeah, let's try this, let's try that. She was off duty by the time she was doing this. Go home. She said, no, I have to have this man. She said she'd been working 40 years, 40 years in this business, but she said, I gotta help this man, I gotta help him. She would not give up. It was like Allah made her keep pushing to think of a way. Okay, Saturday, you can go Saturday, only $700. I said, first of all, I don't have $700. Second of all, I don't need to go Saturday and get there at 10 o'clock at night and go to Salt Lake and Minneapolis and so on and so on. She said, that's all I can do. Let me try something, something, something. And finally I said, I don't know what to tell you. She said, okay, I can get you there tomorrow. Do you want to take it, yes or no? At least you can get there for one day. I said, okay, let me see. I said, Albuquerque. Now, for whatever reason, Allah put in my mind, Las Cruces, not Albuquerque. So I said, this is just Albuquerque. She said, that's what the ticket says. I said, no, I have to go to Las Cruces. She said, oh, that's easy. We'll take you to El Paso. Now it became El Paso. You can leave right away. You can go and you get there. You'll be there tonight. Alhamdulillah. So we go. Now I get to El Paso. I get off the plane. The brother there, he said, how come you came here? Why you didn't go to Albuquerque? I said, too far from Las Cruces. He said, you're not going to Las Cruces, you're going to Albuquerque. I said, what kind of trip is this? That's getting crazy. But he said, I'm from Las Cruces, I'm happy to take you. So then he got there and said, I said, well, I didn't get to do my program. He said, no problem. You can do a program here. I said, okay, it's 10 o'clock at night. There's not going to be anybody too much. It's 10 o'clock at night. He said, watch. We got there, it was packed. Packed, man. I said, why? He said, because they found out you're coming. I said, how? Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. And I know Facebook. We're using it right now. We're using it very much. Every day, every night, I'm using Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Why? Because it's bringing the people closer together to this message. Is it against Facebook or wrong? I don't know. I don't, I don't care. I just want to find the people. Let me reach the people. I'm not on there for anything other than catch the people to come to Islam. That's it. But now we come to this subject. They said last night, you want to go to Albuquerque now or in the morning? I said, okay, how long does it take? A couple hours? I said, no, 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 more than that. Maybe three and a half, four hours. I said, okay, no problem. I forgot a couple of things. Number one, I get up this morning, I said, oh, sun's coming up already. I can pray, but what happened? I forgot, we didn't, I didn't turn in until two o'clock in the morning because I was working on Facebook. <laughs> Number two, the hour of things up, you know what he, what he called daylight like savings time. So I, I forgot about that. The brother called me and said, let's go. I said, where are you? He said, I'm downstairs. I said, oh my God, now are we not ready? I need to take a shower, I have to get ready. So I got ready, I go down. Okay, we'll go. We start going, we're talking, talking. I said, mashallah, look, there's the sign right there. It said, you're leaving New Mexico, coming into Texas. Huh? Akhi, where are you going? He said, I'm taking you to the airport so you can get the flight to go from El Paso to... I said, I don't have a flight. You're supposed to drive me. Says, the world, Mama. Oh, my God. I thought I'm taking you to the airport. He didn't say I'm going to Albuquerque. Oh, my God. Okay, turn around. Okay, now we got... I said, you better get gas. We start with good gas. I have another good experience with another person there. Another lady. I didn't even like me. What can I say? Anyhow. But I'm giving down all the way. And then we start coming, coming, coming. And then we said, oh, stop for us. I said, what am I? He said, I don't have my papers. I said, what papers? What are your papers? He said, no, they have this checkpoint. You have to have your papers. I said, it's not the border. He said, no, no. And then I remember, we used to have this in Texas. I still got it. And I said, well, I got my driver's license. He said, not for me. I need my visa. I said, where is it? Back in Las Cruces. Here we go again. Turn around and go back. I said, oh, my God. Khadrallah, Khadrallah, keep saying this, keep saying this, it's the only way. Don't get excited, don't get upset. I've got a big point I want to make to you in this clip. 
but I'm going to give you the story first. So then we turn around, we come back. Now, I looked and I did the math, and I know the distance. I saw the signs on the highway. It's going to be 2 o'clock before we can get it. And, I know it. and he said, I can go faster. I said, you go faster, I will get you out of the car, because I didn't do that. I'm not from Saudi Arabia, sorry. <laughs> I'm not trying to make you laugh at you, by the way. But you shouldn't. But it's too funny that I'm sitting there, and I'm going through all of this, and brother, he's willing to do whatever it takes. I said, no, 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 we, do, we mustn't do this. Because what you need, you ask a lot. You don't break rules. This is one of the points I want to make today. If you need something, don't break the rules. Allah has another way for you. All right, then, we're going along, going along, we're talking, and I'm reminding myself so many of the hadith of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, ayahs from Quran, talking about, talking about, and come to this hadith. I'll share it with you. The brother and I talked about the beautiful hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 70,000, 70,000 of the mu'mineen, 70,000 of the people, they will enter Jannah without any type of justification of how they got their money, where they spent it. Mafi Hisab. Hisab used to have a, a day of seven year account, your day of reckoning. They will not have to experience this. Why? Ah, uh, because they only ask from Allah. They never ask from the Makhluk, they ask from Alphabet. They don't ask from the creation, they ask from the Creator. And on our bumper sticker, which I want you to get today, I hope they set the table up so when you go out and get one. Bumper sticker, Bismillah. You're going to love this thing. Because it says something beautiful for everybody. It's a message of Islam, but it's a message in English. Worship the Creator, not the creation. What a beautiful statement. And it's on a bumper sticker, guideus.tv. So when you're going around, you're giving free commercial for the town. Plus, alhamdulillah, you're giving the message on the spot. Even if they never come to the channel, they got the message. Is it beautiful? So this is the Hadith. But what does 70,000 mean? Well, I was explaining to our brother, although I'm sure he knows better than me, because in Arabic, in those days, they had expressions which meant large quantity, bigger quantity, huge quantity. Let me give you another one about Muslims dividing up. You've heard about Muslims dividing into different groups. Have you heard it? About this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us, You know this? It's in Surah al -Iman. Actually, it comes right after, Next time, it says this. It says, And hold tight, all of you guys, hold tight to the rope of Allah, and don't make farqa. Don't separate. Don't divide up into groups. Which group are you in, by the way? Oh, I'm a Sunni, I'm a Shia, I'm a Sufi, I'm a Kufi, I'm a Duni, I'm a what? No, you can't be any of those things. Why? Because Allah, He told you just be Muslim. He said in the Quran, just be a Muslim. Now look at the hadith, and this gives us a chance to talk about the idea of 70 again. Rasul Sallallahu He said, as the Al-Kitab, the Nasrani, the Yahudi, before us, Jews and Christians, before us, they divided into 71 or 72 groups. You Muslims will divide into 73. What did it mean? I know brothers, maybe you know some, they got their calculator, they got their number thing out, and they're saying, okay, uh, let's see, the Jewish are the Ossines, Nazarenes, then they have the, the uh, looks like the Maccabeans, they have this group, they have that group, the Orthodox, the modern. I think I found 71 from Yahudi. Okay. 71 Jewish groups. Oh, and look, look, in the Christians. Okay, they got the Protestants, got the Catholics, they got the Church of God, Church of Christ, Church of God in Christ. They got the, looks like, uh, what's this one and this and so on. So, oh, I found 72. And now I found 73 groups of Muslims. I said, which march Because we find that many in one masjid today. Hello? Everybody in a group, a group, a group. Because it didn't mean that. Don't get your calculator out. Forget about it. This is talking about an Arabic expression. Like today we say, for instance, your mother says, don't slam the door. Don't slam the door. Okay. All right. Then 
and get your opinion. I told you don't slam the door. Then again, I told you don't slam the door. I told you a hundred times don't slam the door. Did she say I No, maybe four or five. She's making a point though, right? But when she gets really upset later, I told you a hundred and one times don't slam the door. That's to make a point, isn't it? So how about if somebody said a hundred and two times? How about if somebody said a hundred? And this now you can understand in the vernacular, the way it's being presented by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the people who understood it at that time. No matter how much they divided, you're going to divide more. But the important part is not the number. Brothers, sisters, get the number out of your head. It just means a lot. They're all going to divide up too much, too much. The key, the operative word is coming up. Kulufinar. That's what you want to pay attention to. Every single stinking one of them is going to hell. There's no group except it's going to hell. No group except they're going to hell. Yellow Wahid. Yellow Wahid. And what, what is Wahid? What are we talking about? One. One only. Do we know what that one is? Yes. Because the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he told us the one that we and my companions are on today. And may Allah put us on that. Amen. From this, a lot of people said, well, our group is that group. You know? For instance, somebody said, well, we're not Shabandia of the, of the ones who are only the green. Okay? And no, no, we're the not Shabian uh, that we are the red. And uh, no, but we're the Shiite of uh, the, the Ashur Ithmin. Or we're the... We're from the seven or the fibers or the, you know? Everyone said, but we're the ones that are in the same group, right? But the Hadith said, Kula Vinar, And what's the name of the group? He didn't say the name, did he? He said, what me and my companions are on today. What was the name of the group? And Allah said in the Quran, He, who, Allah, He is the one who named you Muslim. And, Go back and look at this in the Quran, and I read it to you already. That's saying Sunni. Shia? No. It's not Sunni. No. Muslim. Muslim, that's it. So they asked me. Now this happened to me in Texas. When I got back from Mexico, we were having a big dollar conference down near Mexico City. When I came back, they took me aside. You know what that is. It's random. Every time. Random. I think it's somebody's name. One of those guys named Random Lee. Anyway, he's Chinese. Anyway, so we go over and... Mr. Lee is giving me this, and blah, 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 blah. where do you go, who did you see, what did you talk about, why, why, oh, 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 okay, okay, I'll answer everything. Finally, he said, what kind of Muslim are you? I said, what? <laughs> he said, what kind of Muslim are you? I said, uh, uh, fat, but I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> and in this is a situation, you must not laugh, because if you laugh, then these guys are going to know you're playing with them, so I just keep my face like <laughs> He said, I'm not talking about the size. I want to know what kind of Muslim are you? I said, like what? He said, tell me about it. What kind of Muslim are you? He said, oh, I'm old. Nothing I can do about that. He's getting upset. He said, I'm asking you what type of Muslim. I said, ah, be positive. It's not about that. He said, I want to know are you. And he started naming. Are you Sunni, Salafi, Shiite? was Sufi, was uh, all of his names, going through the list, that uh, Ahmadiyyan, Qadiani, Agakani, Five Percenters, then uh, it's a group called Mabutru Ali, so, and so many groups. And I'm going, no, 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 no. Finally I realize I'm going to miss my airplane if I don't say something quick. I said, I'm a Christian Muslim. <laughs> he said, what? I said, you mentioned me, Jewish Muslim. I heard you. Yeah. Well, I'm a Christian Muslim. He said, I don't find that. I said, well, I was a Christian. I became a Muslim. He said, okay, you can go. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. All right. But I'm a plain vanilla Muslim, not that.
last two moments. We have one flavor, that's all I want. That's it. I want to leave it at that, but if it's not here to jump around, I'm trying to be serious about this subject. Because our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi used these numbers in a certain way, and when he said 70,000, don't panic and say, oh, wow, there were more than that, there were companions, there were souls, so there's no chance for us. Yes, there's always a chance for you. Don't forget, Allah can expand heaven to hold as many people who want to go. And he can expand the hellfire the same way now with you. What we're talking about is the point. And when Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi said it, 70,000 will go into paradise, no waiting. They won't have to stand around in line. They're not going to have to go through the day of reckoning. They're going to go straight in, straight, express, express name. You know what I'm saying? Do you want this? Simple. Don't ask from the people. Only ask what you need from Allah. Ask from Allah. There are some people who do this. There was one companion famous for this subject. He's riding the camel. I don't know if you rode the camel. If you ever ride the camel, the camel when he goes down, it's like you're riding a bucking horse. And that's just going down. He's standing still. He goes, boom, boom, boom. As they go down, and <clears throat> boom, boom. You see a camel do it? You sit on top of the camel, and you feel like you're going to lose your lunch. It's terrible. It is. The Lord is like that. So this companion, he made the camel get all the way down. What did he do? He got off and he picked up a stick. It was his own stick. He dropped it. And he made the camel go down and pick up his stick. And he got back on the camel. The people with him said, Yeah, come on. How come, Jeff, you, you didn't just tell us we could bend down? We can give you the stick. You don't have to make the camel go down. He said, I heard Rasul Sayyid Salaam say, 70,000 will enter Jannah. Mafi Bissar. Those are the ones who never ask from the makhluk, the creation. They ask from the creator, a heart. I don't ask you for anything. Look at that. And such is the way of the early people of Islam. Omar radi Allahu anhu. Do you know that one time that he was carrying a bundle of uh, uh, food stuff and things to take to a family of, of poor people? He's carrying it. And the one with him said, Yeah, Amir Mumini, let me carry that for you. He said, You will not carry my burden on the day of judgment. So you will not carry this burden today. Look at the Iman in these people. What is the Iman? And let's think about that. And in the second football, put it all together and find out what was our point today. I love that audience. Say, 
I believe in Allah and then hold fast to what you said. Stand on that. Don't waver. Don't walk. Stand firm on your feet of the May Allah make all of us real Muslims. May Allah help all of us to see and appreciate the value of this thing to the extent that Alhamdulillah that we live and die as Muslims. Amen. Um.